In India's forest, foreign exchange reserves have fallen to their lowest since uh, July 2020, falling by almost $4 billion in just a week. Priyanchi joining us with the latest on that. Priyanchi, what are we hearing? Well, Ankita, it is a concerning picture in terms of the forex reserves. Uh, they've fallen to their lowest since July 2020, as you said. In just a week, we've lost $4 billion in our forex reserves. And now they currently stand at below $525 billion U.S. dollars. If you compare it uh, with the figure that was there that we saw in the beginning of the year, in the beginning of the year, the forex reserves stood at around $633 billion. But now they're down to $525 billion. So we've lost close to $116 billion dollars of forex reserves in just a matter of a year and if we talk about how big this is it's the sharpest annual forex reserve fall that we've seen on record it's the most of uh, forex reserve fall both in terms of percentage and both in terms of absolute numbers that we've seen in a year ever on record this is the records that the Reserve bank of india has and there are records uh, since late 1990s so ever since that this is the sharpest annual forex reserves fall we've lost 17 percent of our forex reserves in just a matter of a year. And why is this really happening? We know that the rupee has been falling against the dollar as the dollar's rate is increasing. So the Reserve Bank of India is intervening by selling their own dollars from their forex reserves to increase the supply of the dollar in the economy. And as we know, when the supply increases, the rate comes down. So that's why the Reserve Bank is selling dollars so that the dollar's rate comes down, so that the rupee's rate in comparison increases. So that is why we're seeing that these forex reserves have been sold. And that's what costed us more than 116 billion in just a matter of, the, of a year and now the reserves are uh, at the lowest level that we've seen in more than two years. Priyanchi, what is this really going to mean uh, at this point going ahead? Well, Ankita, uh, the rupee is continuing that uh, that slump that you were just talking about. And we know that dollar is still gaining and there are recession fears. Now dollar is still started going down, but there are still recession fears and inflation fears uh, that are across the globe and uh, interest rates are being hiked across the globe. So all of that is really leading to the rupee falling against the dollar. So we could expect more forex reserve sales, but we are seeing that the forex reserve sales are not completely able to help the rupee slump. The rupee is still falling, but the government has been saying that it's still falling uh, less compared to other currencies because the Reserve Bank has been intervening. Right. This means that we have less money uh, to pay for our imports. We have less money to pay for our crude oil imports, which we import more than 80% of our requirement for. And we need to have these forex reserves to maintain that rate of the rupee. And if that keeps going down, we sort of lose that margin uh, of selling dollars to control our own currency. So that's why this has, this has deep repercussions for all of us in terms of our imports, in terms of our currency, uh, our crude oil imports, which are the most essential. And since we're paying a lot for our imports as well, that's also one of the reasons that's taking our reserves down uh, because all our, most of our imports are paid for in dollars. So all of these reserves are needed for all of those payments. And if they keep on going down, then it's a concerning figure when it comes, uh, when it comes to our foreign trade and also the margin that we'll have to control our own currency and strengthen it against the dollar. Priyanshi, thanks very much indeed for joining us with those details.